In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord's peace be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, uh, today our Mass intention, the people that we hold in prayer are those that are held in a certain darkness. As the fatigue is setting in of our shelter in place, but I'm thinking specifically of people who are feeling um, a bit relationally trapped, people who are living with others who are frustrating and hard, and there are questions about the relationship, people who feel trapped and that the darkness uh, is trying to, to sneak up uh, around them. So many of us uh, are living with people we love, and others are living with people we like, and others are living with people we tolerate. Our prayer today is uh, for peace in relationships, for hope in those who are living in darkness, and for ease of relationships in a time of tension and anxiety. We continue our prayer by calling to mind our relationship with God, a God who accompanies us through life and into eternal life, who accompanies us through hardship and illness to fulfillment and healing, and a God who accompanies us even though we have sinned by granting us reconciliation and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sin, and bring us to life. <coughs> Excuse me. Bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just. Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call upon you, that we who thirst for what you generously promise may always have our fill of your plenty through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. And after Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manian, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands upon them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Sarp Cyprus. When they arrived in Salimus, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response, O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all the nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in, equ in equity, the nations on earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless you and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. 
Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, not only in me, but also in the one who sent me, and whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn them, for I did not come in the world to condemn, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me does not accept my words, has something to judge them, the word that I spoke. It will condemn them on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father has told me. The Gospel of the Lord. In some ways, it is almost unfair to be reading from the Acts of the Apostles as the church is building and growing and expanding, as the Holy Spirit is settling into people and communities, and she is sending people to new places, to new experiences and adventures, and that we are stuck. We're stuck in apartments and homes. We can't go where we want to go, where we feel we're supposed to go. And the longer this goes, the deeper the fatigue starts to settle in. And we can be drawn back into a pre-Easter darkness. It starts to feel like Lent has not yet ended. And then we turn to the Gospels. We're reminded of why the Holy Spirit is here among us who the Holy Spirit has replaced in the world. We're reminded that God loves us. We're reminded that God loves us so much he gifted us with his Son. And we're reminded that Jesus came into the world so that light would overpower darkness, that goodness would overcome evil. He did not come to condemn. He came to redeem. He came to love. He came to show us how much God loves us and then ask us to love each other that much. And my idealism, I hear those words and I think of ease and good and the joy that comes as the result and in the process of loving. Yet I'm also reminded how much work it takes to love someone, how much effort is required to persevere in relationship, and how difficult it can be when relationships are unsure, perhaps not confident of the future. I'm reminded that some people feel trapped in relationships, trapped physically and emotionally. And it is for them that we pray today, but I think it's also to them that Jesus speaks. He speaks words of of hope. He has just raised Lazarus from the dead, and he's inviting people to into his light to believe in his goodness, to believe that the one who sent him, the one who created him, the one from whom he is begotten, is with us in our hardships. For us to be mindful and intentional about our relationship with God, and sometimes to sit in the quiet and let him comfort, let him soothe, let him remind us that even though we may feel alone, 
We are not. Because Jesus has come to love us, to bring light to where darkness dwells, and that his Easter light will overcome every one of our own dark experiences, fears, and thoughts. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which the earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of this holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us participants in the one supreme Godhood, grant that as we have come to know your truth, we may make ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as together we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He shared it with his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, When the supper was ended, he took a chalice. And once more, giving thanks and praise, he shared the chalice with his disciples and friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, Remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who lead and serve your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, 
with Francis and Claire and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, you say to us here and now, my peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. Do not look upon our selfishness nor our sin. Rather, be attentive to our generosity, to our mercy, and to our faith, and graciously grant us the peace and unity that is in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Peace, everyone. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Together we pray the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Alleluia. the body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, graciously be present to your people and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to new ways of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This celebration is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve our God and to take good care of one another. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.